Hello, today is that of Sunday, 12th of August, 2018. This is the Crypto Day Morning. My name is Derek. Welcome to the Money Charts channel. And trading, investing in the crypto space, amongst almost everything you're investing in, contains risk, contains reward. Understanding risk, reward, for me, is job number one. And then executing within such. And now that we've gotten through the intro, let's take a look at many a different time frames from the short term to the very, very long term within Bitcoin. And right now we're seeing the move uh, from this high with the ETF situation. This is what a lot of this was bought up on. And then the uh, delay of such an ordeal and that's brought the price back down. Now, does the Bitcoin need things like an ETF to succeed? I'm not going to answer such a question, but I'm most certainly not going to say that. Oh, I mean, this is why I'm in it, because there's going to come a day where an ETF for Bitcoin will come out. I have never, ever thought that, at least for myself. So the price action, which I was on a successful retracement, you'd be looking for it to hold around 6,700. Here we stand at 6,256. Not finding support, having a decent leg back to the congestion area of late June and the liftoff area from the uh, end of the second week of July is where the price action has come down. A lot of choppy movements from this red candle. We take a look at this, say, on a 400 minute time frame. You've had this up move up to the 18 average, the declining one, down move again, and it's declining amongst it there. It hasn't even had really any moves uh, above this uh, period since it had its fall on July the 30th. So it's been about two weeks, really uh, continuous moves to the downside, not much for any consistent rallies uh, within. And on the three day chart, this is where I was seeing, okay, so this is where the band flattens out. You establish resistance in the 8,500, come back to the band. It's going a little too far. So it looks not optimistic at all. I would be putting the benefit of the short-term doubt going to the downside over that of the upside. And the key word towards that will be short term is I'll be looking at this chart on a weekly, monthly and quarterly level uh, just as soon as the short term analysis is done. I mean, the market could regain, get back in this 18 and th that's what I've seen before. And I'm most certainly not saying, oh, so it looks as if this thing is having a short term move and we're just going to. Uh, be going much lower. So let's bet upon such. And I've already made a few bets well back in the fa past and the, they were small, but that's because I realized I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the hit, quote unquote, on any down moves, realizing that I don't expect them to last to the downside. I'll talk more about that within the weekly and the monthly quarterly time frame charts. And for myself, it just seems if I were to make a play like this, oh, let's just sell big and, and it just never goes down, then it goes up and then I have to buy back at a loss. That's what I really don't want to do, of course, as well. And one of my measures for ensuring gains is when there are such a thing, which of course was back in here. Well, let's turn it into fit physical precious metals, uh, use it uh, for any type of goods that I've been need needing to buy via that. Hey, this is cryptocurrency. This is uh, what is b being used for that of a currency exchange tr uh, for a uh, trade of value. And that to me are more optimal times because you can get better deals with things when you're selling Bitcoin uh, at prices two times, three times, X times higher than where they currently stand. Okay, so let's take a look at this a little more short term. Let's look at this on the single hour time frame. And yesterday, this is the 11th, it had this move after just chopping up and down in this range, just back to where it came from in here, not really getting above too many key points. 
And since that move, it obviously hasn't went higher. It had this nice little uh, big down move, small up move. It has most recently had a little bit of a down move as it's barely trying to hold amongst this uh, 18 in here. 15 minute time frame when we take a look at it there's how it's just recently fell through doing so at the 8 45 a.m session and uh since then it's digesting the losses as the 18's newly declining and uh short term this doesn't look as if there's going to be much uh, optimism here but for short term analysis looking at this you're looking at something that might or should come back down to this congestion area but technical analysis here if you see a move here not support this little point in here and price action has a noticeable move going lower than this then that could be one of the key key indicators that this thing uh, could be ready very soon probably as we move into this week of significant declining moves Okay, so now let's move on to the three-day chart again. Just holding on pretty much like a thread. And now the weekly, monthly, and the quarterly. So within this weekly chart, you've got this nice uptrend throughout many a months. In a few years, we're 18 average, great support basically every single time support leg higher support there was a leg higher after that support leg higher S supporting the 18 of highs monstrous leg higher and then when it comes in here it's not supporting it it made a move below it and thus because it had a good move below it it resisted it on its next occasion enough to start to make this go lower and again in here and again right now so more signs showing that this could be ready for a move down to the 3k level moving on to a monthly chart and in this situation in here we only got so much data but with the data that we do have 2012 the ultimate gain going from about three bucks up to over a thousand it did have the move that went below the 18 but in this case here it uh, successfully managed to not break down below that support and thus when it was able to get above the 18 around uh, the early part of 2016 it was off to the races and you have the monstrous gain and this was a very good correction comparing this correction to what we got now most certainly the last one was bigger both via that of price and that of time and what i've been stating before before would bring us back to the end of we'll say the spring months ago that this current correction is in that of a half-assed correction that's the term that i used and that was a term to state that, okay, it has been correcting. We're talking long-term time frame, but it hasn't done much. It sometimes doesn't need to do that much. Obviously, a good correction would need to do more. So it would need more of a price move, which, of course, 3000 would be more of such. It might even be comparable to a move something like this in here, where it just gets below the 18. And that doesn't mean it's going to kill the market, obviously, so was not the case back in here. But if we count the amount of periods in here, this started on the, uh, well, March of 2014, even really February of 2014, it entered the band. And then it was January of 2015 when it went below it and it uh, didn't get above it until October of 2015. Now as it stands, we can say that the first correctionary test came around February, because that's when it hit the 18 of highs. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven periods of just correcting a little bit through time, mostly with that first small price correction. 
and it was one, two, three, four, five, six, well, about nine or so, again, about a, year, a little more before it broke down for one leg lower below the 18. If this does have that, we'll see if 3,000 would be that one little bit of a leg a bit lower. But for it to get past this half ass correction, if it continues going sideways into next year, then you'd be getting better time correction and the long term correction would get a big, uh, a more large, bolder statement. I'm going to quickly put the three month chart up. There's again even less data to look at here. And I can only presume, based on what was going on, that the 18. Actually, let's redo that. Uh, do, do, do. It'll be just a yeah. But anyway, this little area here was all it had within its correctionary face. It had a big, big up move, as we can see again. But within the run using this time frame. What has it done since uh, October 2015? It was in a bull run having a small correctionary move and it's been making a leg higher coordinated one because it has stayed within the 18 average through the entire time. The price action of the lows never ever got well above the 18 of highs. So that tells me that things are at least in control for its time frame. The correctionary move is as well so far. And that any type of major, oh my goodness, how could this have happened so quick, so fast? Basically a type of, uh, what a major hyperinflationary move. Or based, another way of saying it, any event that would make price action go severely above the 18 average. Thus, monstrous green candles that, you, well, the price is many, uh, or just I guess another way of putting it would be uh, the price is at least this much of a difference in that area from this 18 lows and the lowest price for a current period. And right now, as I'm drawing this, uh, let me just go in here. You got to be talking prices that could go to like hundred, two, three, four hundred thousand. But what I have come to learn within these markets is to expect the unexpected. But most importantly, is these moves that we've been seeing in the crypto space. Well, some might say they are insane. They're just extremely overwhelmingly wild. And if history is our guide, then it would be insane in my book to expect that there will not be any insane movements. In fact, that would be sane if that kind of makes any sense. That those monstrous, unbelievable style moves have to happen and at some point. Now, as the trading has went on for the year, it does, uh, I'm not showing altcoins in here, but the altcoins have pretty much just been a straight downward move. It's April failed rally, not much of one. This is about the second worst thing that probably could have happened for my trading strategy, with the worst being that this thing just goes to ultimate collapse, which I'm still not seeing on here. Yes, it would have been nice for there to be better up and down choppy action. But I'm even in the belief that some of these altcoins, and I can put up NXT because that one has got huge volatility. Here we got it at seven cents. Back before it was $2. And before it was seven cents, it was way down here. So a lot of these wild moves, I would expect to continue to happen again. And they happen after big down moves. So for example, in this case here, you had this high, you had this long correction, but when it was ready to go, here we go, double O 67, 
to 206 or 2000 so 67 to 2000 basis points then the nice long correction again and then you go from in here a nickel or five basis points to 200 and now we've had the again decent decline this is what i talk about about the very this is a this is another half-assed bull market run not even maybe not even half maybe quarter assed just a small little bit of a blimp get a few sales in a key word was just very few for me and then buy it all back but the overall long trend has been this and this has been a lot of altcoins long long declines like this thus when we've seen it twice before they go up quick they go up fast several days but not an overwhelming overwhelmingly lots of them but it only takes 10 20 30 40 50 for these moves to go to dynamic results because what we've seen with these is it just goes straight up many of other coins have done that along the way so when it's ready to do so it wouldn't be a surprise if many of these coins go wild but it could take three days three weeks three months or even longer than that that's the time frame that I have it feels like the markets just really testing my patience but you know what I'm staying in there hanging in there on that patient game letting the message of the market uh, show me that I'm confident that with the coins that I buy that a lot of them are going to quote unquote not go to zero or just basically be useless and that moves like this are going to come in and I'm just going to be selling, 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 selling and I'm going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot more fun doing that than it has been going buying, 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 which has pretty much been the uh, general thing for year 2018. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.